Trolls, the latest computer animated confection from DreamWorks, may look like just another cynical exercise in selling overpriced TV merchandise to nine-year-olds. Indeed, DreamWorks' 2013 acquisition of the Good Luck Troll Doll brand seems to make that an open and shut case. Yet underneath the cloying cuteness and glee junior musical numbers, there's more to trolls than meets the eye, and not in a good way. In the movie, trolls are tiny, smiling woodland creatures with towering crowns of wispy hair. Basically, they're smurfs with mohawks, except that they come in the colors of the rainbow instead of just blue. Obviously, that makes them yet another liberal symbol of multiculturalism and the gay agenda. But we've all come to expect that from Hollywood, right? But it's even worse. The trolls are so happy and adorable that they literally poop cupcakes and pass glitter instead of gas. This, despite the fact that when we meet them, the trolls are prisoners of an ugly race of ogre-like creatures case of Shrek Studio plagiarizing itself, called Bergens, who have an annual holiday called Trollstice, where they eat the little cuties to ingest their positive vibes and experience happiness just one time every year. A slap against a certain holiday on which liberals conduct a war every Christmas? Probably. In the opening scene, the Trolls King Peppy, voiced by Jeffrey Tambor, leads them to freedom where his daughter, Princess Poppy, Anna Kendrick, reigns over a non-stop party fueled by electronic dance music and hourly hug fests, which makes it all too clear that the true source of their happiness is ecstasy, aka MDMA. Yes, Trolls turns out to be a 90-minute ad for an illegal rave drug, and it's being marketed to kids. This explains why the Bergens get high from eating the trolls, but the villains of the story are also employed as propaganda for veganism, since we're meant to sympathize with their helpless prey. This despite the fact that the Bergens are environmentally conscious. After all, they can find their troll eating to one day out of every 365 so as not to endanger the species. As with most liberal propaganda, however, Trolls also reveals its own hidden prejudices. Sizeism, for one, since the Bergens are suffering from an epidemic of childhood obesity, and their snaggletooth grins are an ugly stereotype targeting the British. Tellingly, the ogre's King Gristle is played by John Cleese. Purely from a movie-going standpoint, though, this muddled attempt at ideological brainwashing is a good thing, because if it weren't for the thorny subtext, trolls wouldn't be worth writing about at all, with the possible exception of Christine Berinsky's hilariously evil performance as the Bergen chef. Otherwise, the characters are cliches and the plot is assembly line predictable. This film is basically an even less original variation of the Angry Birds movie, Right down to the cynical, antisocial troll, Branch, played by Justin Timberlake, who ends up saving the day. And that annoying talking cloud? Absolutely insufferable. This is all designed to make parents' eyes glaze over, presumably so it won't alert them to detect the subliminal messaging. It's insidiously clever, but don't be fooled. Keep your eyes safe and boycott trolls. Oh, what? Did you think I was still in jail? Nope! I ran off to Arizona, and I'm writing for USA Today under an assumed name.